How's it going guys? We are back with another mission guide, the Dasha Vestibule this time. Margaret the Sly is a mandatory hero. I gave her a prepared shot bow build. Nothing special, to be honest, just some decent single target damage. Our duty is to complete different trials and gain access to the inner sanctum while protecting Goran from the Jin army. The first trial is basically the usual kill this and destroy that. The second one is answering questions. And the third one is a crystal key puzzle. Along the way we'll encounter different gins which drop keys, free mobs, free keys, two and free chests. And the bonus is opening this chest and obtaining the treasures. I bring you my necro this time with a nice assassin promise build which is just perfect to knock down the ruby gins or the roaring eaters and distract the enemies with the vanguard assassin support when necessary. Of course feel free to use any other build but for me this as a promise bar worked well and my hero team is the usual East Surge Mesmers, two Ritus, one Ineptitude Alley and one Beep Necro. First thing first, there are two very similar NPCs in this outpost. By the luck of Adashim gives access to the mission, the key of Adashim lets you enter the Expo Libre area, so talk to the luck guy and enter the mission. Even if you talk to Goran or not, he will follow you, but luckily he is not a YOLO type and kind of easy to keep him controlled. A good example will be the fight with the last three bosses. So as we get closer to the entrance, the city's defensive mechanism triggers and the genes spawn everywhere. Luckily they are only three in each group and we are eight or nine including Goran, so it should be not a problem to deal with them. Always take out the ruby genes first, they have searing flames, then focus on the roaring eaters if there are any, and keep the zephyr genes, the dervishes last. There are three directions you can choose from, advice to start with the center to get the ruby key and go for either left or right once you are done with the central area. Upon entering the trial of eternity you will experience several environmental effects like increased recharge time, HP degen and slow movement speed. These are rather annoying but as you destroy the guardians these negative effects will disappear. After the first guardian group I suggest the right side because if you go left you will probably aggro both the genes and the guardians and in hard mode this is not too healthy. Now we reach the gene which drops the ruby key, take it down and pick up the key and this is necessary to complete the bonus. Try to be careful in the next part, the Roaring Gidders and the Guardians are very close to each other and I believe the developers made it on purpose and when the time has come go in and give them a warm welcome. Another free Guardians, not a big deal if you have cleared the chamber like I did and all the negative effects are gone when they die and the first trial is completed but don't leave this room yet, because we must work a bit on the bonus. You can try to click on the chest, but since we don't have the Zephyr key yet, we will not get the treasure, but at least we can trigger an additional spawn, and guess you know it already, Ruby Jim first, then the rest. Right now we can go to either left side or right side, it doesn't matter since the left side has the diamond key and also the diamond chest and the right side has the ruby chest and we already have the key for that. The only thing that matters in terms of time and simplicity is to start in the central area. I choose the left side this time just because this is how I learned this mission back in the days and there is a new feature here, some ice traps, to, so don't go into these if you can, just avoid them because they deal decent damage. Ok, we are at the diamond of Adashim and guess what, he drops a diamond key and we have two keys now of the three and actually reach the second trial which is a quiz uh, in relation to the six guild wars bosses. I don't want to make this bit too long so if you are not interested in the lore just choose the bosses in this order, starting from left and going to right the answers are Balthazar, Dwina, Grant, Lisa, Melandru and Abaddon. And once you have it, the trial is completed and in case you misclick or choose a wrong answer you get some punishment in, in the form of some genes. 
but even those are not dangerous. Now we can get the treasure from, from the diamond chest and do the last trial after. Oh and don't forget to pick up the treasure too. Again, you will get some ice traps and several jeans and roaring eater groups, but finally you, you reach the crystal key puzzle and highly recommended killing these paragons first, they are kind of strong compared to a paragons DPS of course. And once all that, choose uh, either 35 and 6 or 25 and 10 or the two central pedestals. This completes the last trial and in case you would fail this minigame, you get additional guardians. Now don't go back to the central room yet, but get the Zephyr key and also open the ruby chest. Another easy group, get the treasure and get the key as well. And now we may go back to the Zephyr chest, the last one that we need. You know the one which we couldn't open in the beginning. No spawns this time since we have already killed them and that's it, three of the three treasures found, the bonus is completed. To finish the mission we must confront three bosses, one Paragon, one Dervish and one LA. Flag your heroes like I do far away from each other and use soul twisting ritual spirits, so displacement, shatter, union followed by armor of unfeeling. This will be a great base of defense against the bosses and with some skill you can pull the bosses one by one, not too difficult to be honest and be cautious when you kill Kormba, Burning Heart, uh, because he can wipe whole groups with just one or two skills. So be 100% sure your party members don't stand in the same place at the same time and have at least a spirit of shatter active. And that's it, Dash of Vestibule, a fairly easy mission, if you play it smart and don't agree the whole map. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.